There's the hole. I tell you what, let's get him up on something higher. Oh, yeah. Oh. The right tool for the job. Now it turns out in this area, there's a some kind of specific fly that just loves to lay these on turtles. And the people at the state lab did not believe me when I approached them with this problem a few, few years ago. And they have since asked me to grow them. I keep trying, and I've grown a few. But this time I'm gonna try and put Philcotrus postulates so we can prove that it's a problem specifically for turtles. And then maybe there'll be all kind of research money and stuff for turtles in the future. I forgot how to make their, their lives a whole lot better. Oh, that does not smell good. Smell it? He's moving his foot? Yeah. This might be more than one hole. There's another nugget. Oh, now we just have another opening to that hole. Close up. <laughs> oh, and that's the inside of the. Uh, the lesion turned inside out. What I'm going to do is poke this back in okay. with some uh, antibiotics. Let it shrink up a little bit. Make sure that the jugular and all the, the pertinent things in there are going to shrink back as far as they can. And then we'll probably remove this as like a small tumor. What if we flush it with some antibiotic water right now before we get yeah, it back in? Yeah, we're going to do that too. So basically in here we have one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, of whatever cute rebirth type fly army this is. So the max mission is going to take all those, put them on a chunk of meat somewhere where we can stink up the neighborhood, let them grow into flies in a closed situation. As soon as they come out in the fly, we are going to uh, find another tortoise somewhere that has an injury and see if we can actually get them to lay it on that tortoise again. That tortoise will, you know, have some, some good medical care and, and, uh, and so forth in the process. But once that fly relays that larvae, we'll watch that lesion grow again. Once that's done, then we'll be able to, to call these something different than the other maggots that are out there. Um, and then once that's done, we'll be able to hopefully uh, get the federal government to give us some monies for studies, uh, to take these guys a little bit more seriously in the environment. It, it's one of those things like when science get in, gets involved and wants to something truly cool and new, then, you know, the powers that me and my allow us to study these guys a little bit more closely and give this tortoise, which we think of as just our backyard tortoise here, which is one of the most unique species of tortoise on the planet, um, and give them a little bit more uh, attention and then we get normal. And, uh, and what makes these so unique compared to other tortoises is they have the hinged plaster on. Uh, they can actually close themselves up in here entirely. These guys have very, very long lifespans. This guy here is probably about 30 years old, okay? Um, so, uh, it'll be really cool. So anyway, let me uh, clean this, this thing up here with some antibiotics. We're gonna pack it with some more antibiotics, and then from there we'll close it back up and, uh, and, and start to grow some maggots. It'll be fun. Later. Look at all the scared little maggots in the corner. They're afraid. Don't to ask you that mean bastard took me out of my turtle. They worked hard for their turtle. And for what? Dun dun dun. To be grown in a test tube. Genetically engineered maggots. Anyway, just got back from, uh, from our friendly local frugals. I want to thank Frugals and, uh, and obviously the meat department because I went and I said, I need a chunk of meat that I can feed maggots to. And they said, what? <coughs> I said, really? I have orphaned homeless maggots that need food. And they're like, what? I said, all right. I just took, spent some time in surgery. We're moving maggots from a tortoise, and we're trying to figure out what species it is. And I need a piece of meat, and I need a piece of meat to feed the uh, the maggots. So I need a piece of certified maggot-free meat, about a two by two chunk. And they sent me with this big slab of anything, that, anything but two by two chunk, and uh, it didn't charge me a dime. Okay. So anyway, while I was there, I got some of the turtle foods and some things to feed to the tortoises. Um, and brought home this piece of meat. So now I'm going to go cut this up, put our certified maggot free meat in with those guys, and then see what it raises. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if you think I'm crazy, raise your hand. Oh, put your hands down. Gosh. Man. 
Anyway, on a lighter note, uh, there's one maggot right there. There's another one hanging his little head out over here somewhere. And, of course, there's two of them getting close to becoming flies. So, today is May 11th, Saturday. Um, oh, there's one right there. He may be getting ready to pupate as well. Anyway, so that's what it looked like today. There's our little raw piece of meat and food. Once they've all pupated, I will yank that thing out of there. And then we'll have to watch what these guys turn into. Okay, thanks for just noticed. The grid on top of this thing here is ably willing to keep in the fly that we flies that we want. Unfortunately, there are some other smaller flies that were able to make their way in there and lay some, lay some maggots on the meat. So those guys are in stars and they're just a few days old, if even a day old. So I've gone ahead and removed the meat and pulled off the ones that I think were worth saving. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, ten out of the eleven that we originally count. And uh, so we still have them. So I've taken the meat out. Covering this back up again. The flies that the maggots that are in there um, are the ones that were just recently laid. Actually, that's pretty clean. I don't see any in there now. Um, but the meat is gone, and that's what it looks like as for now. Okay, so the ones that have turned dark have already gone into, I think that's the pupating stage. Um, and, uh, and the other ones are fat enough to where I'm pretty sure they will do the same thing any second now. So that's what it looks like. And, all right, cool. All right, it is May 13th, about after 5 in the afternoon. Taking a break from working around the house. And came to check on the, uh, on the maggots from our turtle. This one here looks like he's getting ready to pupate. They go through this little violent motion thing for a while, and then they actually, uh... Alright, it's May 13th, so that's 5 in the afternoon. Taking a break from working on the house, and came to check on the, uh, on the maggots from my turtle. This one here looks like he's getting ready to pupate. They go through this little violent motion thing for a while, and then they actually, uh... Take that next step. Anyway. Backing out. There's pupate. There's one getting ready to turn hard. Another one. And that is the extent of them for now. Cool beans. So I'm seeing at least one, two, three, four, five, six. That'll definitely turn into flies. Okay.